Do you want to tell us? Yep. Finance and fashion can definitely be friends. How I safely enjoy fashion without ever compromising my financial well-being. This is Sugar Mama TV. So today I want to talk to you about how I enjoy fashion, appreciate fashion, but also respect how fashion sits with my financial goals. So here are five things you should know and understand about money and enjoying clothes, shoes, and accessories safely. Number one, I very rarely pay full price. Did you know that sales are on, on average, every 3.2 weeks throughout the year? In fact, here is a grid post for you to save with all of the details as to when these sales are on. Literally, if you see something, it's pretty much gonna be going on sale within 3.2 weeks, so hold tight. Also, if you sign up using a new email address, you can sometimes get 10% off your first order. And another great hack that someone shared with me on my podcast, how do they afford that, is if you want something, Put it into your basket and then walk away. Let it sit there because quite often the retailer will email you saying, hi, did you still want this? It's sitting in your basket. Here's a special discount code or free shipping if you want to go ahead. So there is no excuse to pay full price anymore. Number two is I sit on things. Now I will admit this comes back to bite me sometimes because I will sit on it for too long and it will sell out. But I cannot tell you how much money this has saved me when I thought I really needed something and wanted something and I've sat on it to only completely forget about it and realize actually I didn't really want it at all. So I very rarely buy something in the moment. No spontaneous purchases here. I will have a think about it, try it on, even try it on a few times, or save it in my favorites. Maybe go and research as to where I can buy it for a cheaper price. And only then, when I'm ready, I'll come back and buy it. On that note, when I do finally come back and buy it, I'll try and shop through a cashback website so at least I can get some commission back on my own shopping because that also has some great savings. Then number three, it's my five by five by five rule. All right, I will literally do this standing in a changing room talking out loud. I must think of five things that I can wear that particular item that I'm thinking of buying with five things that I own in my wardrobe already. So it must go with these jeans, it must go with this jacket, it must go with these shoes or this coat or this t-shirt. They must be able to be in harmony with what I already own. I then need to come up with five different occasions or events where I know that this particular item will definitely be worn. Whether it's something just lounging around the house, doing daycare pickup, taking my kids down to the beach, hanging out on the weekends, or maybe working from home doing Zoom meetings. I need to be able to know that what I buy is actually going to be worn because that is where you get your cost per wear value down. And then the other five rule is it must be good quality. It must be a color that is in harmony with what I already own, which is my custom color palette. It must be machine washable. This is really big for me because I have three kids who quite often have sticky, dirty, fingers and snotty noses. Plus I've got two big dogs with dog slobber and dog hair. I'm filthy before 8 a.m. So for me, having to take things to the dry cleaners all the time is timely and incredibly expensive. I need to be able to put everything in the washing machine and let it dry naturally so that it actually doesn't be detrimental to my budget. And then of course, that particular item must be comfortable. No matter how great it looks, we all know that deep down, we're not gonna wear that item. We're gonna look at it, want to wear it, but then we're not going to, we'll, it will sit in the back of our closet, never getting to see the light of day because it itches or scratches or digs in. It needs to be comfortable. That is absolutely essential and should also be your non-negotiable. And then finally, one that a lot of people I think take for granted is value. Is this particular item gonna hold its value? It is really important that if I do buy something and I potentially maybe it doesn't fit me anymore or doesn't meet my needs anymore, I can let go of it and I will at least get some decent value back for that item, particularly something like a party dress 
or a blazer for work or a really good handbag. I need to know that if I'm buying it, it's actually going to hold its value. So that if I do sell it, at least I'm getting 60, 70, 80% of that money back rather than that particular purchase ending up in landfill. There is a huge circular economy for pre-loved clothes, particularly for certain brands that actually have a really recognizable brand where people are happy to buy their brands pre-loved because they're so well made. Now, tip number four is actually off the back of the circular economy and that is pre-loved. When I have something special to buy, such as a handbag, I will buy that handbag only after I've achieved my personal goals, which includes financial goals and lifestyle goals. I will always go and check the pre-loved circular economy first. For example, the real real, because often I'm able to purchase that handbag at a massive discount, or I'm able to purchase that bag knowing that most of the value has already dropped and it will hold its value from this point going forward, particularly with designer handbags. And as I said, I will only ever make a special luxurious purchase if I've achieved all of my goals to the best of my ability. It's really important that for me to have finance and fashion in harmony, that I respect the order and process involved. And then number five, this may catch you by surprise, but I actually have an allowance in my budget for clothing. It's only a small amount, but I actually have a set amount per month that I'm allowed to use for clothing, shoes, and accessories. Now, there are many months where I don't use this, and that's perfectly fine because it allows me to save that money up and help maybe purchase something a little bit more expensive and special. But because I'm allowing something within the safe boundaries of my budget, it means I never feel like I'm depriving myself or going without. It means I understand and respect that I personally love, value, use, and appreciate good made fashionable pieces that I like using my clothing to express my personality and style. So by having a set amount within your budget that never means I'm leaning on a credit card or buy now, pay later, I can pay for a particular purchase with cash is very rewarding. I allow a healthy level of balance within the boundaries of my budget. So that is everyone, how I afford to shop fashion, appreciate it, enjoy discovering my style and taste whilst on a budget. It is never ever to the detriment of my financial well-being. So enjoy both, but enjoy both respectfully and with balance. This is Sugar Mama TV. Thank you for watching. And of course, make sure you are subscribed.